Coming live, Knoxmith, Catalog, Magazine, and I'm with Mr. Killer 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 Everybody knows, everybody already knows who it is. So you just go ahead and tell them about it. Well, Seven Boutique, Clothing Boutique, Carrie Streetwear, independent brands, all streetwear, all independent, all exclusive, all fly. Started off with just Bay Area brands, started off with Bay Area brands, Giant Elephant, Solid Clothing, Sealy, we even started off with Sealy, and a lot of different brands. Then we just started branching out to more brands, LA brands, New York brands, okay. Illinois brands, Memphis brands. However, whatever, we just trying to get it, man, Seven Boutique. Represent the underground culture in a major way, you feel me? That's right, that's right. So, I mean, something that people really want to know is, like, how did you manifest this whole thing? Honestly, bro, like, it's me and I got three other business partners, Bill, Chong, and Jake. We all, you feel me, grew up, started in Antioch, went to Antioch High School, graduated from Antioch. And uh, honestly, bro, just like some random in the backyard, chilling, smoking, getting high. And like, you know what, bro, let's just come up with our own boutique. At the time, me and Snake had solid clothing already. We just started up. Mm -hmm. uh, the homie Chunky was already printing t-shirts. So it was like we already had the whole little mix of right. we can make your t-shirts and we got our own brand. We knew other brands, you feel me? Right. And it was nothing like us, still nothing like us in the whole 925, really, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, you know what, bro, right. that's just, just that's just started, you know what I'm saying? You get high and you create pretty much, you feel <laughs> me? Straight up. We smoke some Revis and then we create some You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Didn't you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what's up, man. So, um, like, how many years you been doing this? Uh, five. We've been doing it for five years now. Okay, like with the shop or like period? Uh, low key, like period. Like, uh, with me, when I got a part of Solid Clothing, I just came back from school for the most part, and I got with Solid Clothing, and maybe like two or three months after that, we were starting to open up Seven Boutique. Okay, okay. Solid Clothing, I would say, been around since 2012. Seven Boutique been around since 2013, so, but for me, five years. That's crazy because the Nine Quota Award's been around since 2012. That's man. This is blowing my Look, it's man, bro. It's man. <laughs> um, and we still here, though. You that's feel right. Me? That's right. We're still here. A lot of people don't know, man. The 925, things don't last around here, bro. I've been out here for a long time, 15 years, and I don't, and don't nothing be lasting around here, bro. So the fact that we can say we've been going on for five years, seven years, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a blessing, that's dope, because stuff don't last around here, bro. That's what's up, man. These are facts, that's true. And that's not even just here, like, anywhere stuff doesn't last. You know, a lot of businesses, they fail after three years. They're not able to get over that hump. What was it that drove you guys to continue going? Honestly, I'll probably say that we had to really get it on our own. Like, we started this business with no loans, no investments, no, this is our money. And when you're playing with house money, you know what I'm saying? Right. You're going to try to get the job done because you right. ain't trying to lose all your money or even lose what you invested. So, that's pretty much really what motivated us that we still, we still playing with house money. Ain't no loans, ain't no investors, ain't no investments. Mm -hmm. Everything that Seven Boutique do is, everything that Seven Boutique do is out of Seven Boutique pockets, just like you. So, you already know, bro. Right. Like, right, right. when it's your money, you gonna, you know what I'm saying, value it just a little bit different from Joe Smo money, you feel me? So These are facts. That's really our, what motivates us the most is that we playing with house money, like, straight up. If we don't make it, it's our money that we don't make. But at the same time, I feel like it's, it's a blessing because I don't, we don't owe nobody, you feel me? Right. So, like, right. if we don't make it, all right, we can close up and try to do something else. But that ain't, that ain't the plan. The plan is to make it with house money, you feel me? Okay, that's what's up. So, like, shifting gears, when did you guys know you had something special? Man, honestly, I, I, for me, it was 2000, and I'll probably say 14, 2014, went to this event called the Bank Sale in LA. Okay. And we went out there and we set up our booth, and like, our booth was cracking. Like, we go to the, we go to the Bank Sale every year, don't get us wrong, but this was like our second year going, mm -hmm. and our booth was like cracking. Everybody was coming up to us, just like buying everything, asking for stuff. And it was just like, yeah. if we got it out here, because I originally grew up in LA, I was born in LA and all that, so I'm like, if I can do this out here, it's a wrap. Cause I, I know the difference between how LA, like no beef to LA, but they, they hate. Like if you ain't the homie or if you ain't them, like we ain't rocking with you. If you ain't right. blood or you're not crip, like it's bad for you, bro. Like period. Mm -hmm. Where for the Bay Area, it's a little bit more friendly, a little bit more, you'll get a chance. So the fact that I felt like we was in the bank sale running it up and we ran it up probably better than any other booth that year. It was like, oh yeah, if I can run it up out here, I can run it up anywhere. 
That's, so that's when I felt like, oh yeah, it's a rap. That makes a lot of sense. You know, it's also like, artists kind of feel the same way. You know, they may get that breakout performance or they may have that breakout single and they're like, this really worked. And it yeah. could have even been an accident. Yeah. And they're like, you know what? Yeah. I'm gonna keep this rocking. I'm gonna keep that going. For real. So that's good. I feel that. Um, who's, or what is your favorite clothing line? That's not mine. That's not yours. Uh, you hundreds. just enjoy. The hundreds. The hundreds? The okay. hundreds. I feel like the hundreds is like one of the most fiery clothing lines. Design wise, just everything that they're about them, their online store, their blogs, their vlogs, their creativity is just like, in my personal opinion, above every other streetwear, street designer in the game right now, my my personal opinion. Shout out to hundreds. Shout out to hundreds. Gotta get one of those t shirts. That's right. Um so chicken or beef? Chicken. Why? I'm a, I'm a real nigga. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to say the nigga, okay. but... <laughs> Chicken on beef! <laughs> Chicken, for sure. Give me some fried party wings and uh, we good. <laughs> on the real. <laughs> on the real. I feel it. Now, barbecue sauce, hot sauce? Hot sauce. I don't really like barbecue sauce that much, I did. If mm. I get barbecue sauce, I'm gonna get it from Kinder's, and I don't even want it to just be drowned at all over my stuff like that. But hot sauce, <laughs> we could do whatever, you feel me? Okay. We can live. So you have the clothing on lock, you have the, the creation on lock, you have the boutique on lock. What is next? <sighs> I, I mean like, I don't really want to say just because you feel me, I haven't really like put any time into it just yeah. yet really, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and that's just how I am. Like I don't really like to speak on stuff if I really can't show any proof or any evidence of it. So like, I hear you. you know what I'm saying? Like, I got some ideas that, I've, that I'm cooking up here, but I can't really tell the world until I put them into place for sure. I hear you. But we ain't stopping though, for sure. Well, like me, I want to like design and build a suspension bridge, right? Or like a skyscraper or something, eventually. Okay. So like when me okay. and my kids are mobbing by, I'm like, hey, you see that right there? Daddy did that. I you got can you. do anything you I want. Got you. So more like that kind of run. Okay, Maybe. well, off topic, what's next for me is Hopefully being a varsity high school coach and moving on to a college high school coach. You know what okay. I'm saying? That's one thing okay. that I do that I can really like speak on. Besides Seven Boutique, I am a basketball coach for high school. So like my next power moves is to move up in ranking okay. in hoop life. You know what I'm saying? Entrepreneur life, we're gonna keep that low key right now. <laughs> Behind the clothes. You feel me? Coach Keys, better watch out. Hey. I hear he's got that killer hey. killer crossover. Hey. <laughs> the goal is to bring a team to state out here. You feel me? Ain't no nine two five team that I know of. One state in basketball, boys or girls. Yeah. Besides that, last my bad, that last yeah. On this, the ratchet part of the 925. You <laughs> feel me? Ain't nobody who wants state on this side, so I'm trying to be the first coach to win state on this side for sure. Hey, that's what's up. For sure. That's what's up. You heard it first. Say that. With Knoxmith Catalog Magazine. Yeah. Tell them where to find you, brother. Find us Instagram, Facebook. That's really it. We don't really be on Snapchat or Twitter like that, but it's V I I underscore boutique B O U T I Q U E. Again, V I I underscore B O U T I Q U E. There it is. Be nasty in the building. Appreciate you, Thank Be you, Nasty, bro. Keep doing your thing, bro. Knoxmith, keep doing your thing. Yeah!